Hi everyone, time to make Webflow responsive. Okay, look at this title, look at this padding on the side here as a for instance. This is my desktop view, looks fine. But when I get down to, let's say tablet, let's wait for the breakpoint. Oh, can you see it changed? Okay, the padding got smaller. Let's have a look, padding massive, padding on uh, the tablet smaller and the font size got smaller. Let's look again, let's go down another breakpoint. Okay, to our next smaller size, let's go, look at that, the font bigger, smaller. Okay, so this is the responsiveness. We're changing things depending on the device size. And we get down to mobile and watch what happens. The font gets bigger, no way. Okay, and we make it centered. We're gonna do it with the images as well. Watch this, the images kind of flow onto different lines. We'll play around down here as well with this next event. Eventually on mobile, look, just get rid of it because it, it was a nice design element that worked on larger sizes, but mobile, we just got rid of it. All right, responsive web design in Webflow. Let's do it. Okay, uh, first of all, let's look at how good our responsiveness is. It is not good. <laughs> we are so bad at responsiveness at the moment. So how it works in Webflow is it's now desktop first. So you've got to kind of start here. Don't be adjusting your phone stuff and getting it ready here because there is something called the CSS flow. So what happens is there's these things called breakpoints. These are called breakpoints, it's a desktop. Can you see it says base break, I can't point to it, okay, but you can see just under my cursor here, that's the base breakpoint. There is something for that size. They say tablet, but it's not really for a tablet, it's just for a screen size that happens to be rendered at 991 and down. And then you can see all the different sizes here, okay, for different phones or devices or anything in between. So what happens with this flow is if you do anything on desktop, it flows through all of this, which we know because we've got that padding, which is the big kind of weird thing. We added it in the desktop. It made sense to have this giant margin over here, but it doesn't make sense obviously on mobile. It doesn't even fit. So we don't jump to fix mobile. We've got to fix all four of these breakpoints. Okay, so we're gonna go here because what I wanna show you is if I change, we'll just do this heading text. We'll do something simple. So I've got this thing called heading one. Okay, not this like little span tag. We've got, grab that big chunk of it. So we're heading one. On desktop, it fits. There's a lot of room. It's lovely. On here, it's getting a bit tight. So what I'm going to do is just do a really small font size change. We've already got a class applied to it. Handy. Okay, and I'm going to say, I'm going to close all these down. I'm going to mess with typography. I'm going to say typography. You see these things are amber. It means that the, the styling is coming from somewhere else. It is actually coming from, if I click on it, it says, hey, I'm getting my values from somewhere else. I'm getting it from, see this little icon? I'm getting it from my H1 tag, but I'm getting it from, see that little icon matches this icon up here? Okay, so that's where he's getting his styling from. That's why it's not blue. Back here at desktop, it's not blue. <laughs> why is it not blue? Anyway, where is it getting it starting from? It's getting it from the H1 tag, okay, generic one. Ignore that. <laughs> it would come clearer later on. So it's getting it from the desktop. So I'm gonna override that, okay, and just say a little, a little bit smaller. I'm using my arrow key and just clicking down until I'm happy with it on that tablet size. Now let's look at phone horizontal, okay. Oh, it doesn't fit. It even breaks onto two lines, so bad. Okay, so I'm gonna say here, let's hover above it. This is gonna make more sense. So this is Amber, it's getting it styling from, it's getting from the heading one style on the tablet. There you go, that's where it's getting it styling from. Okay, so I'm gonna say you are going to be even smaller. I'm using my down arrow. Okay, there you go. And then who's visiting my website horizontally on a phone though? <laughs> Don't think that, think there's screen sizes that are just this size, okay? They're just that. Okay, and let's look at uh, mobile portrait. Okay, and I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna actually make it bigger. You're like, what? Bigger? I am, I'm gonna make it bigger. Okay, because I have to break onto two lines, so I'm just gonna own those two lines and make it nice and big. So let's do a little preview. Let's go to our little preview mode and have a look. So desktop, okay, it's this size. Tablet, it drops down size. And watch this, I'm just gonna drag it because it's uh, more interesting to see the breakpoints. So it goes, Watch this, so drag it bigger. It's gonna go back up to desktop. Drag it to go to tablet and eventually I'm gonna to get to here. That's why they call them breakpoints. It's gonna get here and gonna go snap. Okay, so it's going, you can see it changing up here when I drag the sides. Can you see the changing? It gets even smaller. Okay, but it's trying to occupy, there's quite a range. Can you see? It doesn't look really good there. It just gets smaller. But it's occupying this kind of, um, you know, pixel range between these two different limits. So there's all sorts of screens. That's why responsive web design is tricky if you want to be pixel perfect. You basically can't. 
Okay, so it gets down here and eventually goes boom, I'm mobile phone and I'm massive. Okay, and all these different mobile devices. It's kind of interesting as well to look at the different device. They give you some suggestions, watch this. Let's turn the toggle the preview off. If you drag that slider in here, so go to one of these other ones, anyone, okay, and drag the slider different from when the preview's on, we're just in the designer now, watch what happens. Can you see it on the bottom? There's all these like, uh, watch it, I'll drag it, you keep an eye down there. Can you see it'll show you all these different breakpoints and kind of snap to them? So the Kindle Fire. So if you're developing something that is specifically for the Kindle Fire, there you go. Okay, let's go out to a bigger size. There you go, the Surface Pro, okay, is that Microsoft? Okay, you can go down to these different ones and you can go even smaller, like let's go to phone and let's have a look at the different ones in here. So you can see, you can find your phone or your client's phone, that's probably more importantly, just to make sure it's looking good on the person who's gonna be checking it. Okay, so let's have a little look. What do we got? Where's my one? Pixel 3, I think I've got a Pixel 4, can't even remember, it's ancient anyway. Uh, so there you go, that's what it looks like on my phone, okay, these are on the larger iPhones, the Big Maxes, and you can go all the way down to kind of like the NES. I didn't believe that, I was like, no way, I had an NES, or at least a friend had one, okay, <laughs> I went and Googled it, and yeah, it was 256 pixels, <laughs> and that was the resolution, oh, it was lovely. Good gaming console, anyway, though I was more of a Sega Master System kind of dude, anyway. Uh, so, that is our responsiveness, we've done it for the title, you can do it for anything, padding, color, size, so that's kind of it. I'm gonna go through and style my site. I'm not gonna to touch the grid down the bottom here until the next video, so if you just wanna to jump to that. The rest of it, I'm just gonna go through and fix some of the problems. Um, you know, the navigation looks okay, but I'll adjust that because you're, you might not have the you know that luxury or yours might be slightly problematic. I'll work on the padding. Um, yeah, let's do all that together if you would like. All right, remember though, you do not style it down here, hoping to style things up the chain. Because watch this, if I go through and fix that padding here, I go, okay, I want the layout. Nope, I want the spacing. And I'm gonna adjust it down here. Not this one, I want the container or the section. Okay, and I'm gonna remove the padding here, right in like this. If I go up to the next one, it's back to the big one. And it's back to the big one again, back to the big one. So it's best, otherwise I've got to change it every single time. Whereas if I undo that, go to the tablet version and make that a lot smaller. Can you see the flows down to this one and that one? So it's better to start big, go smaller as you go along. Even though you really want to style the mobile, make sure you work through it kind of systematically. So I'm gonna undo that, because let's work on this one. So how does it look? Yeah, it looks good. I'm gonna make that smaller. My obviously my padding over here doesn't make sense anymore. Can't really drag it very well to the right. <laughs> like rowing the boat, here we go. Uh, we'll just type it in, Dan, go ahead. Uh, that's good enough, 149. Okay, so what else do I need to change on this one? Actually, let's do that padding. So, and then we'll kind of look at it, everything else. So you, okay, I would like you to go, what have we got? Padding on this one, let's just guess 50. Actually, go right to the edge. What have we got on that side? That has got uh, 35. I'm gonna do 35 on this other side. So actually, I'm gonna to go to my paragraph here and say, actually, let's clear it out. Who remembers how to clear it? There's the reset option or option click on a Mac, alt click on a PC. I'm gonna get rid of it. Actually, no, I'm not. That's a good point. I was like, I'm gonna clear it by going back to zero. Actually, I'm clearing it and it's gonna say, I'm gonna look back up the line to whatever paragraph said, okay? Uh, sorry, paragraph, whatever the tablet said. Okay, and the tablet said 149, so this guy gets it. So. I can't just like delete it or reset it. I actually have to say you're at zero, okay? Because what I'm gonna do from now on is the section's gonna take control. Why am I doing this way? To confuse you. Mainly so that, uh, I don't know. I don't know why I'm doing it. <laughs> so that's 35 on each side, it feels nice. Okay, over here, okay, the same thing. It's 35 either side and this paragraph is set to zero. But in here, it's probably too wide. Okay, so 35, I'm gonna hold down my option key on a Mac. Hold key on a PC, get it reasonably close. The padding on the top is way too much. So I'm gonna go mobile device, I'm gonna get it down. Something like that. Or oh, still feels too close. Don't be afraid as well to go through and check the different sizes. Remember dragging it up, dragging it small. Your Nintendo NES, okay. Just to see what these all do. I think probably the padding's still too small on this mobile device. Here we go. They don't have to be equal. I've done it equal, but hey. Okay, let's look at, so let's have a little look. You, 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 you. 
Um, one thing I might do for this is I might go and be centered. And I'm actually going to look in here. Do I want that centered? Probably not. Just in here. I'm going to get you to be centered. So let's have a look. It gets bigger. Actually, when you're in this view, it's a little bit different, right? If you're in the preview mode, you can actually drag past breakpoints. Look, I can make it bigger and go to um, landscape, phone, tablet, desktop. Okay, when you're in not preview mode, you're in the designer, you can actually only work within the scope of, can you see I can't get any bigger? I can't go past that breakpoint. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, uh, so let's have a look. Yep, I like it. Uh, we're gonna need to do something with the background and make it darker because that red against that background is not gonna work. I might have to ditch that red completely because it looks cool here, but on this device here, it's, yeah, a bit of a pain. What I might do, let's see if we can fix it. I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna uh, cause a can of worms here. I'm gonna go, let's fix that, even though I hadn't planned on it. Okay, so the background image here, I could go through and darken it. Remember, we've got two backgrounds. So on this one here, will it change just on this one? That's a good question. I don't even know. The transparency is set to 0.24. So let's have a look at it. Let's go into here and let's make it darker here. Will it only affect the mobile? It should do. Here we go. Let's have a look. So background image on this. So section hero, background image. Did it all come along for the ride? You, 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 you. Where did it go? Background. It's still at 42. On this one, it is 0.72. So 72%. It did work. I knew that all along. <laughs> okay, so it's darker on the mobile. All right, other things I want to do. So let's look at the image. Image is fine. Image is fine. On this one here, it's just a bit weird that it doesn't go all the way across. So I've got an image hero, and what I might do is we're gonna jump the gun a little bit and say size-wise, we set it to be, actually we didn't, did we pick a size? We just dragged it, didn't we? Just went, whoop, whoop. okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna say, you be a width of 100, and we'll use the percent, 100 percent. We'll do units and increments properly later on and look at the, all the different ones, because there's loads. But let's jump that one and say, at these other versions, it's a specific width, okay, but at this last one, it jumps to 100%, nice. And what that means is, watch this, the different sizes, okay, if I go to preview mode, watch this, it'll be, actually, this is a good test. It's getting pretty big, but when it goes to portrait, it jumps back to a, a specific size. Nice. All right, preview off. What else do I want to do? Uh, this is very big away, so kind of liked it here. Do I like it here? Do I like it there? Ah, it's fine. What's giving it its padding? That's a, that's also a fun uh, game to play is like, where is that coming from? So with that selected, I'm gonna open up my spacing and it's getting some of it from this and probably some of it from the image. And you can kind of see if I hover above it, can you see kind of a little checkerboard thing? So it's getting it from there. And where is it getting it from? If I click on it, from the desktop version of the hero button. Okay, so on mobile, I'm gonna overwrite that and I'm gonna set it to zero. And that's actually probably pretty good. Good enough. Oh, well, this mess, <laughs> look at that hot mess. Let's have a look, fine here, not good here. How do we fix this? What I'm gonna do is play around with the sizing and we're gonna play around with, let's look at the section sponsor. Okay, let's say everything inside of it is aligned to the center, but only on tablet. Okay, so you you can see I'm using the align and the typography. That's a weird one. You'll notice we're using the typography center, okay, rather than any of the sort of size and spacing centers. We'll do that later on when we look at grid and flex grid, but often you can get away with just centering the text of an entire, you know, div tag or in our case a section, and it will follow suit. And do we have, we have an image, so we have something around this, right? We have a wrapper called image sponsor, and what I wanna do is probably the padding. So desktop, it's looking fine. Here it switches to center, and I wanna add some padding around it. So I'm gonna say, who remembers what you hold down to get all sides to be padding? Okay, so I'm gonna hold down my shift key. Okay, and I'm gonna say padding or margin. Actually, I might do them all, there you go. Okay, so on tablet, there's a bit more padding around it. The other thing is it's all kind of lumped to the side. Why? Because my section has some padding on it. And that was appropriate on desktop, but not so appropriate here. So I'm gonna say, you go away, zero. There's always gonna be a bit of jumping between the different sizes. Let's have a look actually, let's go to preview. Okay, so desktop, 
Oh, wrong way. Desktop's that. Gets down to this. Going to get smaller. Okay, it's kind of responsive. There you go. Kind of bigger size. It fits three on there. You go into this one. Gets down smaller. And how is it breaking down? I'm actually okay with how it is from now on. I'm not going to change anything else. We can get fancier with Flexbox later on, but actually this is working pretty good. Given it some padding around the images, and there's just, yeah, they just seem to break down They're what's called inline block member. So they fit in line. If there's not enough room, they break down onto the next line, kind of like typography does. All right, I thought it was going to be a lot harder than it was. Let's go with this. Um, what else? We've got desktop this. So what's giving the space to this? So let's figure out what's pushing this over. What is it? Is it you? You? Let's have a look. So is it just everything in the section? It is. There it is there. Big old uh, uh, padding on that. So on this one, I'm just going to make it a lot shorter. Row it across. Works for me. That probably needs to come down as well on this device size. Yeah, looks good. This one, it's inheriting everything from the last one. Is it good enough? It is, because <laughs> I don't like you portrait a landscape mobile device. <laughs> I kind of go tablet, have a look at this, make sure it's not too bad, and then go to mobile, which is really important. You shouldn't do that. Okay, and this one here, what I might do is actually this little design choice I had here, eh, it doesn't really work on mobile. It needs to go away or get really small. Let's get rid of it. So with this section selected, I remember it's under borders. There it is there. So it's got a border of that left hand side okay if i click on this of 50 so i'm just going to go zero gone on mobile so let's preview it on desktop it's there oh. on tablet it's there but when i get smaller smaller poof gone okay you see what you're doing here right and um, you know you just kind of work your way through all the elements starting at the top work your way through don't skip landscape mobile phone and do mo uh, this last one so I'm going to go section next. I'm going to say all of this is going to be a lot smaller. I'm going to hold down my shift key and drag them all. Good enough. Is that all we got? We'll do grids in the next one. But I'm happy with how it's going. You're probably, because you're doing something on your own, you're probably going to have a few other bits that maybe aren't working or didn't go exactly like mine because we're using different sizes and different images and different text and different text lengths. If there is anything, ask in the comments, but also know that we've got a chunk of the course left that, you know, we'll we'll get through it all eventually. And the other thing you might be doing is your logo size. Um, you know, ours is fine on these different devices. On this, you might decide that you want it to be smaller and this text to be smaller. Okay, up to you to get it to fit in, and maybe the padding gets a bit smaller. Brand, is that where it's getting its padding from? Nope, where is it getting its padding from? The image, yeah, the image is getting padding over there. Awesome, so work through yours and see what you can do, see if we can figure it out. Remember, starting here and working your way down. All right, that is how to make Webflow responsive. That, my friend, is the end of the video, uh, but not the end of the course, uh, the video you just watched. Um, it is a small part of my larger course called Webflow Essentials. So if you enjoyed the video, my teaching style, there'll be a card up here you can click or a link in the description, okay? And come join me for the full course. Uh, like the video as well if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more stuff, but hopefully see you in the course. Bye.